Hi, this video is about probiotics. You know that pill that you have to take after you took an antibiotic? And I know you'll tell me you should never take antibiotics because antibiotics are bad. I know they're bad, but there are cases when you must take antibiotics. It's a must, it's not up to you, you have to. And I'll have another video about antibiotics because all antibiotics kill your microbiome. Those little bugs that help you digest the food. But there are antibiotics that make it impossible for your microbiome to grow afterwards. So it's a, a bit more difficult to be able to grow your microbiome after you take those sort of antibiotics. But that's a different video. Now let's get back to this one. So you're done with the antibiotic and now you must repopulate your microbiome so you must uh, take a probiotic this is the best probiotic i found because uh, it has 38 strains the most amount of strains 38 i know it says vaginal don't worry about it. your boys can take it as well then this one has 35 strains this one has 16 strains this one has only one coagulans i know that coagulans it's uh, good when you have uh, diarrhea you get rid of diarrhea pretty fast with coagulans um uh, yes only polardi is one acidophilus yeah, acidophilus, only one. Acidophilus, I know it's uh, okay when you have a vaccine. After a vaccine, any kind of vaccine, acidophilus just goes away, disappears, dies. So you must take acidophilus after a vaccine. So these are the options that I found um, in stores. The cleanest ones, because uh, most probiotics have other ingredients that... Uh, I would not take them and from all of them this one uh, was the best because it has the most strains but the best uh, probiotic is the one that uh, you can make yourself and this is the one so you can just uh, go out in store in the market or whatever and buy all kinds of fruits and veggies and leaves uh, that you can find. Wash them and cut them in the little pieces and uh, add in a jar a little bit of uh, different ingredients. The m more ingredients that you have, the better. I mean, the bigger the number of ingredients that you have is the better. Okay, you should not add too much of one ingredient. The more complex your probiotic is with uh, different kinds of ingredients that you add in here, okay? And here I have uh, different kinds of apples. I know you're saying, but they're all apples. Yes, but they're different kinds of apples. Different kinds of apples means different kinds of uh, uh, bacteria. I have some uh, plums, else? some grapes, and whatever you can find. And then add them uh, in a jar and then uh, I added here a cabbage leaf and then water with salt so for one liter of water one tablespoon of salt this, this tablespoon big tablespoon of salt I've used Celtic sea salt it's uh, a bit darker it's got sand and some other minerals and uh, you add all your ingredients here you put the cabbage leaf or what kind of uh, leaves you have and you make sure that all the ingredients sit at the bottom of the jar and then you have water on top of all your ingredients because you're trying to um, make a fermentation without oxygen and you put the lid on and i've added here some uh, seeds as well i want them to ferment as well and then you close the lid 
to make sure you have a fermentation without oxygen and then you let this ferment for a few days and then early in the morning you take a sip or two or three from this liquid because uh, this is the probiotic and you want this liquid to reach your small intestine you don't want this to be digested not need in stomach with acid because probiotics dies in the stomach if it's being exposed to acid so you don't want the probiotic to be digested you want it to get to the small intestine so the liquid is the probiotic and then when you eat you can also eat the fermented ingredients that's okay but the important one is the water the fermented water that you must drink on an empty stomach and uh, that's it thanks bye